Okay, so I've got a great little ab burner for you all to try um, at home, in the gym, wherever you are. You can fit it in before breakfast, at lunch, dinner. So we are gonna start off with 15 crunches. These are great for your entire abs and it's really good, just a little warm up. Um, also, which is great about this, is that it also gets your heart rate going, so means fat burn. Okay, let's start. Okay, so 15 crunches. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Okay, we're going to go straight into a Russian twist, so feet off the ground, balancing on your bottom, and we're going to go from side to side, working your obliques. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, and 15. You should start really feeling a burn now. We're gonna go straight into the bicycle crunch, which I'm sure you've all seen. So straight up, a little bit balanced on your bottom again, and we're gonna crisscross. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. If you're finding these a little bit too easy, you can always increase the reps as well. Okay, so now we're going to go into a side plank and it's called side plank up and down. Straight onto your elbow. Make sure you're in a good position, hold your core. These are great again for the sides of your abs. We're going to drop down, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. We're going to switch over onto the other side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Straight into the Spider Man plank, which I named myself. Okay, so you go straight up, really strong core again, all through here, suck in your stomach, so you're holding on for a wee, bend up, knee to elbow, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. 12, 13, 14, 15. Don't give up, straight into a normal plank is really 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 good for your stomach it also secures your back make sure your bottom's not too high in the air or too low 60 second hold let's go one keep on counting and holding in that core really tighten it up because you're going to be fatigued now so really focus on your lower core squeeze your glutes as well always helps I think we've got about 15 seconds to go 11 10 9 8 7 6 5 4 3 2 1 that's the entire set. Now we're going to go again. Now this is an intermediate level of ab exercises. So if you're capable of doing more than 10 ab crunches, this is perfect for you. If you're starting to find it a little bit too easy, you can always increase the amount of reps that you do. Okay, so straight into the, um, into the crunches. Make sure that when you're doing these, you are using your abs, you're not pulling up with your neck, which a lot of people end up doing, and you can get really bad strain, really bad top of the shoulders. So really use the abs to pull yourself up. 
A great tip is making sure your chin is to your chest, whereas if it's back, you're having to use more of your neck to lift yourself up. Okay, so keep that chin nice and tucked to the chest. Okay, so now we're gonna go on to the Russian twists. Feet up again, get the balance before you start, get a good position, shoulders back and reach round. So let's go. Really get a good twist. This will be working your lower back as well, strengthening it up. Obviously it works your lower core as well, which is one of my favorite things to do because so many people get bad backs and this will really strengthen you up. Make sure you keep breathing as well. Okay, so on to the next one, bicycle ab crunches. Straight up, make sure you get a really good twist, knee to elbow, one, two, three. Okay, so making sure you get that really nice full range. The more range you get, the more muscles you're working, therefore the flat of the stomach, which is what we always want. Okay, turning over, we're gonna go into the side plank again. Again, set up, make sure your feet are equal on top of each other, which will keep your hips in shape, okay? So arm up into the air, head in a good position, let's go. All the way down, the more range you get, the more it's gonna work all through the sides of your stomach and get a really nice creative curve into your body as well. Try and squeeze the glutes. That always helps secure the position that you're in as well. Okay, onto the other side. It's always important to always make sure you equal out each side of your body so you don't end up lopsided. So keep squeezing that lower core, squeeze the glutes. Keep those feet in alignment and really reach up. Okay, if we're gonna go into the Spider-Man plank. Again, nice setup, suck in the core, squeeze the glutes, reach right up to the elbow. Get a really, really good range. You'll feel it working, holding that core. Don't drop your hips, keep them in a nice, strong position. Now we drop down into our minute hold of the plank. One that's really common, but is so, so good. So get the shoulder blades back, head up, suck that lower core in, squeeze the glutes, hold on for dear life. Let's go for a minute. Keep holding that core, suck it in. Just think of those long journeys that you have in the car when you really, really need the toilet exactly what we need to do which I know is a bit weird but that's how I think about it so keep on holding into that bladder squeeze the glutes you'll feel your back having to do a lot of work as well which is great it'll be strengthening it up and this also really creates a great flat stomach nine eight seven six five Four, three, two, one. Holding that chin to chest all the way up. Reach right up to those knees, get the full range. And you'll work the entire core area of your stomach and get those abs that you need. Now you've got to remember, this isn't gonna just get your six pack straight away. It's all about the lifestyle and nutrition. So you've got to remember to eat right, recover right, and then the abs will come. Okay, so we're gonna go into the Russian twists now, feet off the ground, hold that core, suck in your stomach. Let's go, full range, big twists. Keep the shoulders back, head up. These are things and the tips you need to keep on thinking when you're doing this workout so you get the best results possible. Okay, into the next one, bicycle crunch. Everyone's favorite, all the way down. Catch your breath, let's go. Big twists. You can make it faster, you can make it slower. At the moment, we just go at a medium pace. Turning round, going to our side plank. Straight up, remember alignment, all good technique first, and then we drop down, okay? 
So drop to the mat, hips up. I like to have my arm up into the air, it just balances you out. You can have it to here, wherever you feel comfortable and most secure. Keep on squeezing through, work all the abs and twist over. Straight in, let's go again. Make those feet balanced on top of one another and that will help the balance as well. Try and make your hips go right to the low down to the mat. You don't want it to touch completely because then you'll come off balance. And straight into your Spider-Man plank. Straight up onto the feet and we'll go again. Good range, remember, suck in that core, squeeze the glutes. The more you work each muscle and you think of each muscle group, the more strength you'll gain from it. Two, three, four, five. Drop into that plank. Make sure you're in a really level position. Don't let that butt drop. Don't let it go too high. I'm starting to breathe now, so you can tell that it's a really good workout to just keep the lungs burning. Fat burns there, therefore you'll see your abs faster as well. Keep the head up, shoulders back, squeeze that core. You can work the quads as well. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Well done guys, that was a really good session. Now it may have looked like I was finding it easy. I may have not looked like I was finding it easy, but it, it was hard and it really does work the lungs, which is amazing. That's why doing it for 15 minutes flat out as fast as you can is a great way to get fit and get those abs. So anyone can fit this in before breakfast, lunch, dinner, whenever you have a spare 15 minutes, it's well worth doing. Just working the entire ab set again, which is really, really good. And the slower you go actually, the better it is. You can really work each individual little bump 